While the new instruments are nice to look at, super cheap black plastic still dominates most of the rest of the view on the dash and doors. On higher end grades like the Premier, it replaces the LTZ trim level for 2017. There is a color strip of faux leather for the dash and door panels, and piano black trim around the 7-inch infotainment screen and HVAC controls. These changes are possible because designers purged the plethora of semi-useless slots and cubbies from the 2016 model, crafting a cleaner and more uniform dash for 2017. Still, the improved cabin represents a netlock. Chevy sacrificed too much versatility in its quest to improve the Traxxas cabin design and materials. This little vehicle does not have a center console, there are just four cup holders running between the front seats, so by ditching the 2016 model's cubbies and storage slots, the only compartments left in the Traxxas cabin are the glove box and a tiny change tray ahead of the shift. Chevy makes it clear that the Trax is a car for urban millennials, but, as a millennial, your author can confirm that having convenient places to stick smartphones and other stuff is kind of a big deal. Then again, while a nearby spot for your phone is good, you don't really need to look at it. Like a lot of new vehicles, the Trax's updated MyLink system features both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's a welcome move considering MyLink's limited abilities as a standalone platform. The new 7-inch display's graphics look better, and the touchscreen feels better, too. In the 2016 car, the display surface flexes with each input, but the 2017 MyLink screen feels more solid and responds more precisely to inputs. To boot, oh, and MyLink. CarePlay, and Android Auto are all standard, which is probably the Trax's biggest selling point, especially on the base models. There are much needed tech updates in the safety column as well. Chevy achieves parity with some of its rivals and surpasses others by offering optional blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, forward collision alert, and lane departure warning. And on the convenience front, Certain trims offer push-button start as standard, but there are still some tech pieces missing. For example, unlike the Mazda does with the CX-3 and Jeep will starting with the 2017 Renegade, Chevy isn't offering an upgrade for the Trax's lousy halogen headlights. The available single-stage heated seats force drivers to either roast their butt or freeze it off. There's no heated steering wheel option, and all HVAC systems use manual controls. These are shortcomings compared to the Trax's many competitors, and the price doesn't reflect the lack of features. The model we drove, a Trax Premier with all-wheel drive, costs $29,490. Do a little cross-shopping, and you'll find that's a big number for the meager options list. The most expensive version of the admittedly smaller Mazda CX-3 GT comes with forward collision mitigation, not just alert, automatic high beams, LED headlights, and adaptive freaking cruise control, along with everything on the tracks aside from Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, for $28,610, and that's with extra cost paint. A fully loaded Honda HRV sells for almost $2,500 less, if you're willing to give up a few of those safety features. And the Jeep Renegade Limited, which lists some of the Trax's safety items as optional extras, is just a smidge more, at $30,005. The bottom end isn't much better, the Trax starts at $21,895, which is $1,035 more than a base CX-3, $1,630 more than a starter HRV, and $2,905 more than a Renegade. We won't break down all the various standard feature differences on the base cars, but CarePlay and Android Auto are the only major things you'll miss by choosing a more affordable rival.